care about that. What they're saying when you're not around. You be feeling it when you're not around. Yeah. Where you get that pretty smile? Where you get them muscles? Yeah. Where you get that propensity for math and science? Mm -hmm. Where you get that cute walk? Yeah. Come from your mama. Come from your daddy. Where they get it? From their mama and their daddy. Yeah. Back and back and back. All the way to the first person. Yeah. You got all of that in you. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, when you be feeling isolated and alone, can't deal with your problems, remember that you have the power of every experience that was ever had in the history of mankind. Yeah, you're the link to all of that. You are the culmination of all of that. Yeah, you, little you. Mm-hmm. So what's that called? That's called your ancestral heritage. And it's a very tangible thing. It's you. Ask yourself why you are who you are. And that ain't all either. That's only half of it. You are also a part of everything that ever will happen. Oh, yeah. So how does that happen? That happens because of your legacy. Yes. Your legacy links you to all that will happen in the future. Mm-hmm. Your ancestry links you to your past, and your legacy links you to your future. OK. Here's the next dynamic principle in the universe, balance. Equilibrium. So you have the power to balance that heritage. You have the, the power to balance that legacy and to gain strength from it. Gain strength to do what? To understand what is happening in the universe. To understand why you feel so powerless. To understand that you are being manipulated. How? Mind, body, and spirit. How are you manipulated mind, body, and spirit? The mind is the law profession. The body is the medical profession. And the spirit is the entertainment profession. Oh, yes, and that includes religion. Yes. So how are you manipulated? Because those who choose to do business come in between those very natural things, those very natural healing awareness things, and manipulate your concept of them. With concepts that are confused, you are powerless to make sound decisions. So I say, get back on the 360 degrees, which is the beginning and the end because it belongs to you.
your glorious ancestry. And for millenniums, I was clothed in regal headdress and flowing robes, in times when all were kings and queens. In other times, I knew no clothes, but elegance and style were my adorn. In the diaspora, when I was clothed by those who knew not the needs of my soul, thrust upon me a rhythm that was alien to the kindred spirit that lived within our collective being. But in the design of all creation, a rebirth, I am the essence of that total experience, a realization of our collective consciousness, spirit of style and elegance lives. Thank you.